you stand on a stage and you've got between 300 and 5,000 people singing, it's the most amazing feeling and their voices are like up there and you're just kind of floating. I mean, it's, it's what the world needs. It would be safe to say today that Debbie Friedman is the most popular performer of Jewish music throughout the United States. When she started to combine Hebrew and English in her music, it came across like, uh, like a bolt of lightning. My greatest moments are when every mouth is going and on a fast song if every hand is going, because I really believe that it's life-giving. There was a time when I would go into a synagogue and if I would come in humming a Debbie Friedman tune, uh, everybody would say, well, that's camp music. That doesn't belong in the synagogue. Some people said it was blasphemous. The prayers were blasphemous. Debbie was, to most cantors, Haman La Russia. She was Haman, the evil Haman. The music that we sing, it has to sound Jewish. Jewish music has a certain a character. We were afraid that the great music of the synagogue was going to leave. This is not an easy road for her to really build her career or the acceptance of it. I think I was one of the first, if not the first woman, to, to do this. She's transformed the way women experience Judaism. She's broken through all these boundaries without having the credentials, without doing it the way she was supposed to do it, because she reaches into people's hearts. Oh, you, God, my shield. You can't help but feel the sincerity, because we all know what Debbie's living with. A journey of spirit. Shalom Aleichem, welcome. Isn't it nice to be in a concert together in person? Yeah, that's great. It's so nice to see you all. Thank you for showing up for Jewish music. Thank you for showing up for honoring the legacy of Debbie Friedman. I'd like to invite you to open up your hearts to sing along because that's what we do at Debbie's concert. To be nice to the person sitting next to you. To smile. To wear a mask if you want to. To silence your cell phone if you need to. To focus all of your energy. To take a deep breath and enjoy this wonderful music. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bat Ela. Shalom Alechim, Shalom Alechim, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi. Kadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Ni L'Shalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyon Mi Melech 
Welcome everyone. By a show of hands, anybody's first time at Park Avenue Synagogue? Oh wow, okay, great. Where, where, where are you from? I mean, let's see if I can... Detroit. Colorado. Kansas City, where was that? Colorado. Colorado, wow. When you came here, wow. Israel. Israel, okay. Australia beat that Israel. Okay, well. San Diego. Wow, this is wonderful. So welcome. Uh, where, where are you from? Boca. Where's that? I can't hear you. But that's okay. Wherever you're from, welcome. Where, whoever is here in person, welcome to those who watch us live streaming from afar. We're so happy you're here, really. Um, anybody's been to Debbie's concert live? Wow, I'm, I'm just humbled because I never had the opportunity to do so. So welcome to you. We're so happy you're here. So in order to frame Debbie Friedman, I've asked a friend of ours, Dr. Ron Wolfson, an expert in Jewish liturgical practices to share his reflections, and that's what he wrote. When I'm asked how synagogues can ensure their worship services are welcoming and accessible for all, I suggest there are three most important things to consider. Music, music, and music. It is melody that lifts us up to a spiritual experience that powerfully moves our hearts and souls. It is singing together that transforms a group of individuals into a kehila kedosha, a sacred community. Fifty years ago, most synagogue worship was nearly ex exclusively based on traditional nusach, the formal recitation, the chanting of prayer. Occasionally, cantors would introduce a new melody for a prayer written by a colleague. Yet in summer camps and youth groups, Talented song leaders introduced a growing repertoire of new song and melodies to build ruach among the young people. One of the best of the best of these song leaders was my beloved friend, Debbie Friedman, Zichrona Levacha, a creative composer of easy to sing simple melodies and a talented music educator. Debbie's superpower was transforming a concert into a community sing-along that brought her audiences to their feet to dance in the aisles to reach a higher level. Exactly what we are expected to do here tonight. With her engaging and relatable songs that reflected a deep, authentic desire for spiritual relationships among worshipers, Debbie's music spoke to our inter intermost yearnings, our heartfelt petitions, our bounty of blessings. She transformed synagogue worship by empowering and welcoming young and old into Jewish prayer. Her songs, her legacy, and her soul live on. May the memories and the melodies of this sweet singer in Israel, Debbie Friedman, continue to bless us all. Friends, I'm honored to be surrounded by such unbelievable talent, but Allah, Shira Klein, Cantor Natasha Hirschhorn, Cantor Mira Davis, Cantor Ariel Reisner, Litsan will introduce you as well, Maestro David Enloe, and our beautiful ensemble, our tech team, our security team, our facility team, on behalf, on behalf of all of us, 
Thank you for joining us this evening.
so wonderful to be here today. Wow. I heard about Debbie, I was a teenager, a member in the Israeli scouts caravan, traveling between summer camps in Jewish communities here in the United States. Ten years later, I met Debbie for the first time at Hava Nashira. <laughs> yeah, Hava Nashira, 30 years this year. I was overwhelmed with her talent and charisma she immediately became a good friend, an inspiration, and a role model for me. Debbie's music and legacy became part of the tapestry of my musical journey, but more importantly, her values. To understand that there is more than one way to be Jewish, to feel comfortable with my Judaism, to be tolerant and accepting, and to be proud to be Jewish. And in this spirit, I raised my kids in Israel with my man, Danny, that he's here with us tonight. Hi, Danny. <laughs> and now, I'm very happy to invite my dear son, Nitzan, 
to sing with me Birkat Hamalachim. The blessing inviting the four angels to protect us as we go on sleep at night. May these angels with be with each of you every night and every day, watching over you and your dear, your dear ones always. Thank you all for having me here tonight. This is very special. Nitsan. <laughs> Hebrew for those who didn't understand <laughs> but we have a lot more English no worries but you understand that the legacy of Debbie goes all around the world and we're gonna show it tonight so speaking of Israel I'd like to call a friend Cheryl Friedman sister of Debbie Friedman you are in Israel now and it must be what four o'clock in the morning thank you for watching us thank you for joining us virtually and we spoke a little bit about the journey of the life of Debbie. And Kentra Lefkowitz, you, was, you were a personal friend of Debbie. And can you imagine that journey of getting Debbie's music into Park Avenue Synagogue? Like that, that's been serious. 
And each of us, we have our journeys. And we say, Hazo'im bedim'ah, berinai k'tzoru. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. One of the things that defines someone's legacy is the things a person has done themselves, him or herself. And one of the things that defines a legacy is what a person has inspired others to do. And so when we consider the legacy of Debbie Friedman, we're not just thinking about her own melodies 
as incredible as they are, and counter melodies. Did you hear in the, both the last two songs? Two melodies are combined together. It's a common theme in her music, isn't it? The combination of two themes, the combination of two languages. And one of the pieces that her legacy has inspired is the next piece by Zena Goldrich, noted Broadway composer and PAS family member. And uh, uh, she's not here, she? <laughs> Good. And it combines not only the Hebrew and English languages, but also a poem by Rabindranath Tagore, uh, along with some English lyrics you will hear and some original Hebrew text of Rav Nachman of Bratislav. Let me not pray to be sheltered from dangers, but to be fearless in facing them. Let me not beg for the stealing of my pain, but for the heart to conquer Kol haolam kulo Gesher tsar meod Gesher tsar meod Gesher tsar meod Kol haolam kulo Gesher tsar meod Ve'ahikar Lo lefached Enter Natasha Hirschhorn from Anche Hesed, New York, just across the park. Thank you. 
And I'm so honored to be in this illustrious company with amazing Batala and Kenter Schwartz and this incredible musical team and everybody here. Can we just give them another round of applause? As you can probably tell from my accent, I wasn't born here. Uh, I was born and raised in Kyiv, in Ukraine. And so the terrible war that is going on is not an obstruction for me. I still have family and friends there. My childhood friend and her 83-year-old mom who spent sleepless nights under bombs in Kyiv. My cousin from the south of Ukraine who joined the Ukrainian Defense Forces. Other family members who fled the country as refugees to protect their young children. So I feel devastated thinking about their uprooted lives and the countless, countless others whose homes were destroyed, whose lives were cut short. But I'm also deeply touched by the outpouring of support for Ukraine from the Jewish community here in the US. Thank you. Thank you for doing all you can. Debbie's song we're about to sing, You Are the One, was inspired by the teachings of Reb Nachman of Bratslav. He was born 250 years ago in Ukraine. Today, you will hear Batela sing it in Hebrew that she translated, and Kenter Schwartz sing it in English, Debbie's original, and I will sing a verse in Ukrainian to honor the roots of this song, the text, um, in, in the small town of Ukraine. And of course, Debbie's gorgeous, uniquely American setting and the powerful Jewish message of this song of how to seek oneness with the one who brings all of us together, regardless of where we were born.
I hope this music inspires you to continue with your action to support Ukraine relief. Thank you all for all of your support. Um, I also want to let you know that after this concert tonight, it's not over, but after the concert tonight, you're all invited to the third floor where we're going to have a reception. You, you'll have an opportunity to meet and greet uh, all of our wonderful talent. Um, so uh, we hope to see you after the concert for that. And um, I also want to, I regret to inform you that um, our dear friend Josh Nelson, uh, who was supposed to be here and bring Debbie's guitar, couldn't make it. He tested positive last night. He's OK, mild symptoms. But Josh, I know you're watching us. And we hope that you have a full and speedy recovery. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and pleasure to introduce Rabbi Tamara Cohen. Good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to be here and wonderful to be singing with all of you. I'm Rabbi Tamara Cohen, and I'm here tonight to introduce Mir um, Miriam Song, one of the deep <laughs> favorites of Debbie Friedman, and to say just a few words about her profound contributions to Jewish life in the specific area of Jewish feminism and inclusion more broadly. I do so as someone who had the honor of knowing and loving Debbie like many of you, and of working closely with her and leading countless satyrs around the country, feminist satyrs and women satyrs with her. We wrote songs together, specifically bringing the stories of biblical foremothers into the cultural life of American Jews and Jews all over the world. When I was a child, we had King David, David Melech Israel. But now, because of Debbie, we also have Miriam and her timbrels. And we also have Devorah, the prophet. We have, every time we sing the Mishabeirach, the one who blessed our mothers, along with the one who blessed our fathers. This is a core part of Debbie's legacy that was born out of her personal experience as a woman who broke through so many barriers and was also born out of her deep and multi-layered relationships with other Jewish feminists, with LGBT people with whom she collaborated over many years and for whose life cycle events she wrote so many of these songs. I will never forget the joy of dancing while Debbie was up on the bima playing guitar and singing 
and how she would urge us, as perhaps you will, to reach out and hold our arms around one another. In those moments, I felt in a, in a physical way what it was like to be at the shores of the Red Sea and to really feel myself into Jewish history and into the moment of, of standing at the Red Sea and into Sinai. And so when I think about Debbie's legacy, I go back to think of Miriam so long ago, leading our people and leading women in song in that moment of confusion and joy. And I think of how Debbie led us in song and dance through so many moments of her own and of our song and joy. And I think of the song leaders of tomorrow who will carry on her legacy and the legacy of Miriam. And I hope that they will also um, honor the foremothers, Debbie among them. So those of us who knew and loved Debbie and all of us who are transported and transformed by her music, I invite you to lift your inner timbrel and join and dance with Miriam. Thank you. I am Cantor Mira Davis. That's Mira, not Miriam. But tonight, we are going to sing of Miriam, who took a timbrel in her hand and led the women of Israel in song and dance, and they danced and danced all night long. She crafted her delight, a woman touched with spirit. She danced hard the light. And the wind dancing with her timbrel followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one who will be salted. Miriam and the women dancing with her
Yeah. Wow. I, I, I spotted you starting to get up in the corners and just going to help ourselves. And that really was what it was like at those seders. And Debbie in that white suit, you remember? Yes. My name is Shira Klein. I was just like you raised by Debbie Friedman. She was a teacher of mine and a mentor and a guide. And I learned so much from her. I feel it's, uh, it's you know, too much to name, except she's here and I can feel this entire room just warming up and lifting, lifting, lifting with her spirit. Thank you for singing every word to every song tonight. I see you. Obviously, Miriam, Miriam's song is, is one of Debbie's stories. Debbie was a prophetess in her own time. And so, of course, Debbie wrote music and illuminated the stories and words of all of our ancient prophets as she knew that all of time is now. So she extended her hands to them and they to her. Not by might, not by power. Debbie answered the call to spirit with a lifetime devoted to bringing us together. So now I wanna say a special thank you to bringing us together tonight, especially in honor of the action towards sending healing to Ukraine because when I studied the text, not by might, not by power, but by spirit alone, I began to realize just how relevant those words are today. So, you know this song. This is a sing-along song. This is a clap-along song. This has harmonies, this has hand motions, if you're, you know, if you're that, if you're that person. Okay, are you almost ready? Okay, are you ready, incredible band? Okay, one sec. I know it. I know it's gonna get big. One, two, three, four!
I need the two most precious latkes in the room. Are you ready to be latkes? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, what holiday do we eat latkes on? Santa. <laughs> yes. All right.
Friends, aware as we are of so much blessing in our lives here and this evening, we also know that there are those who are in need of healing and recovery. If you are able, I invite all of you to please rise as we pray on those behalf.
speedy recovery. You may be seated. sent you on your way with Tefilata Derech, the blessing for a journey.
our fathers and our mother that you lead us in peace and guide us in peace and help us on our journey in life, joy and peace. May you bring blessing upon the work of our hands and grant us peace, kindness and mercy in your eyes and in the eyes of all who see us. Blessed are you, Adonai, who hear our prayer. Now it's your soul. Open your hearts. Take it away. Amen.